Have you ever wondered what would happen if we all went extinct? Most people want the human species to continue forever, right? I mean, that's not a crazy assumption. So what if I were to tell you that we, the human species, are facing a mass extinction right now? All it takes is 75% or more of Earth's species to go extinct in less than two million years. And while that might seem like a long, long time, looking at the big picture gives us several signs that we are living in a modern mass extinction. When we talk about habitat loss, most people assume it's on land. But there are major changes in our ocean that could lead to mass extinction. As of 2012, half the coral reefs on Earth have already been destroyed, and about a third of the mangrove forests that are home to both land and sea animals also went kaput. In addition, overfishing has led to two-thirds of the world's marine fisheries being tapped to, and arguably past, their limits. Do you remember the old Irish potato famine of 1845? That's the way we wrote it. It was caused by an airborne fungus when Ireland faced a lack of biodiversity. Again, this was tied to habitat loss, when a smaller environment leads to a lower population and less genetic diversity. Industrialized farming, or monoagriculture, still plays a role in this today by replacing diverse populations of plants with a single crop. Invasive species, we did a video on this earlier. Here's the gist, when non-native species are introduced to an ecosystem, they can make some contributions, but if they don't have a natural predator, then they consume all of the area's resources and they grow out of control. In fact, invasive species contribute to the decline of 42% of the world's threatened and endangered species. The kudzu plant is a perfect example. It's been taking over chunks of the United States since the late 1800s. Of the five mass extinctions that Earth has already experienced, at least one was contributed to by a giant asteroid colliding with the planet. You know, the Cretaceous period where all those dinosaurs that used to hang out were just obliterated? Well, NASA says that asteroids like this strike Earth every million years and our due date is coming up so live it up people but nasa's got an eye on things so we can all go armageddon hopefully if it happens soon this is where we run into the most well-known habitat killer global warming Despite the, the debates over its origin, most scientists agree that the planet's temperature is rising. And some research indicates that a quarter of all plants and land animals could go extinct from global warming. And it could only take a shift of one degree Celsius to lead to 30% of Earth's species being wiped out forever. So what do you think? Are these signs that we're amid a mass extinction or are these just natural changes to Earth's ecosystem? Let us know in the comments below. Throw a like my way and subscribe to this channel to continue getting daily bursts of information. For more in-depth facts on Earth's impending doom, visit us at HowStuffWorks.com. You know, while the uh, internet is still around. Have you ever wondered what would happen if we all died at once? Whoa, too dark. Let's just do the show.